Maybe you did a little bit of begging and pleading after your breakup. Does it mean that you have no chance of getting back together anymore? Not at all. We're going to be talking about how to get your ex back after begging or pleading in this video. So please stay tuned through to the end because we're going to be covering some very concrete, real strategies that you can use in this video. Hey there, it's Clay with modernlove.life. Okay, so begging and pleading, I think most of us, after doing just a little bit of research, have figured out that this is not a great strategy. However, in the thick of the moment, when you are being broken up with, you may not necessarily have the time to say, hold on, I'm gonna hit the pause button and I'm going to research what I should do right now and then I'm going to come back and respond in a totally perfect, cool and collected way. No, no, no. M many times we, we do the begging and the pleading. I did it, I did it. Um, if you don't know my personal story with uh, my, my big ex, I'm gonna go ahead and link to a little playlist I put together on my personal story right up there. I did the begging and pleading. I did, um, I know a lot of people have as well too. Occasionally I meet someone who, who has not begged or pleaded with their ex. Um, if that's you, great, although I don't know I'd be watching this video, but, but basically what we're gonna be covering is how to get your ex back even if you did begging and pleading for, for whatever reason. Now the first thing we wanna do here is we wanna understand why you were begging in the first place. Now in our little you know corner here of the internet, we have a term called damage control mode. And this is typically that you know panicked, anxious, um, overthinking, walking on eggshells kind of state that a lot of people find themselves in after a breakup. Uh, you know, you might find yourself texting a million times, you might find yourself begging and pleading, promising up and down that things are gonna be different, buying expensive gifts, all that sort of stuff. I mean, you know, hey, again, I have been there. I have been in damage control mode. Um, and I've worked with a lot of people who have. Don't worry, it's not a deal breaker when it comes to all of this, but we need to understand where this is coming from. Now, obviously you went through a breakup, right? Okay, you're heartbroken. Okay, obviously that's, that's one aspect of it. But what else is going on? Like, are you worried that maybe this means that, that some traumatic limiting belief that you've had that maybe you're not worthy of love could be true or something? Maybe, I don't know. Are you worried that you're not gonna be able to find someone else? Uh, because, you know, maybe it's it's hard out there now, or maybe, uh, you know, you have a hard time with dating or something like that. I don't know. That was definitely a concern of mine. Um, maybe there's something else that's going on, but maybe you have a scarcity mindset. Maybe you uh, have some sort of lack of something going on. I don't know. But what I want you to stop put down the phone for a bit, put down the social media, put down the texting, put down everything else, and just you know, kind of sit there and start to understand where this is coming from within you, okay? I get it, you feel bad, but let's actually peel back a layer here and find out what specifically is going on. And then what I want you to do, and this is step two here, is to really start to correct this, okay? Now, I want you to sit with these emotions and to emotionally accept where they're at right now. Um, you know, this doesn't mean that you have to give up or anything like that, but it, I want you to sit with it. I don't really talk too much about my own personal life or anything like that, but you know, very recently, my mother actually had, um, turns out she had a heart attack. Um, and so, you know, she called me and said, hey, I'm having a hard time breathing. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, come and take you to the emergency room. I went and I got her, took her there. They did a bunch of tests and all that. And you know, this whole time I'm like, you know, really kind of stressed out. Um, I'm staying at her house because she lives like two hours away. I'm staying at her house, taking care of some stuff, taking care of her cat, all that stuff. Um, and, you know, just kind of like worrying, like what's going to happen? Where's this all at? And so I'm just trying to sit with this feeling that like, hey, th you know, this could be it. I could, I could lose my mom. This could be it. And I'm just sitting with it and working on accepting it and working on being okay with it and working on the fact that I can kind of confront a life without my mom in it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 40 years old. Obviously our parents aren't gonna live forever. Obviously as someone who comes into being through life, you're going to eventually come out of being through death. You know, it's just, just, it's just part of the cycle. But when you're going through it, you wanna really sit with that emotion and work on trying to accept it as best you can, okay? Um, you know, just, you know, for the record, I mean, like this is all still unfolding and everything, but you know, at least for now, you know, my mom had like a little procedure done. They put a stent in her heart and she, she seems to be doing great. 
Um, we'll see. But, you know, just to kind of close up that loop there. You want to sit there and emotionally accept it. Can you stare down that dark hallway and imagine a life without your ex? Can you sit with that? Can you sit with that possibility? Can you hold it in your heart? Can you experience that? Can you be okay with that? It doesn't mean you have to love it. It doesn't mean you have to stop and give up or anything like that. But can you be okay with it? Can you come to peace with it? If you can, that's all I'm asking you to do. And if you can come to peace with it, you can start to move out of damage control mode. Okay? Um, that's, that's really the hardest part right there. And then after that, by the way, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button for this, this video. And please make sure you subscribe to this channel as well too, making sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe. You would not believe how much this helps us out with the channel and reach more people and grow this channel and all that sort of stuff. But after that, you're probably gonna have to reset the dynamic between you and your ex here. You know, if you did a lot of begging and pleading, especially if it was recently, you're gonna have to let them let them know, hey, you know, I was acting a little bit out of character, the breakup was a little bit of a shock for me, I may have, you know, done some things, I may have overreacted here. Um, and, you know, maybe do something like a fresh start message or maybe give them a little bit of space if that's what they want. Like, hey, you know, I, I, I think I'm getting things under control here, but I understand I gave you a lot. Would it help you if I just gave you a little bit of space here for a while? That could be really helpful. Check in with them, see what they need, see what they want. And then after that, you know, what you want to do is you want to build some connection with them. You want to build a strong emotional connection with them. You know, again, I don't know, maybe you give them a, a week or two or something if that's what they really want. But then when you get back in contact with them, build that emotional connection knowing that you're not in damage control mode, knowing that you've gotten your emotions worked through and that you can actually start to build trust over time through quality emotional connection, through advanced relational skills, through all these things we've talked about on this channel so many times. Um, if you can just build that emotional connection and build that trust over time, they're gonna to start to come back around and move past previous begging activity or something like that. And they're gonna to start to be able to see you as someone who's moved past that stage and someone who they, that they can connect with in a reasonable, um, emotionally balanced kind of way. And if that is something that you want some help with, we of course do have a course called the X Solution Program. Um, you know, of course, I'm not going to twist your arm to sign up for it, but if you want to check it out, it's over at modernlove.life slash ESP. You can find a link for it down below in the description box for this video. But, you know, it, check it out. If it seems like a good fit for you, we'd love to have you inside. If not, no biggie. Um, we got more and more great free videos here for you as well, too. But, um, you know, it's helped a lot of people. It's helped a lot of people to rebuild the connection. It's helped a lot of people to get their ex back, even after begging and pleading. Um, and so check it out if it's something that you're interested in. And with that being said, thanks so much. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.